So I've been playing a lot of Tears of the Kingdom recently, and seeing all the creations the community has made is really sick. From hover bikes that help you get around, to jet bombers that let you airstrike the cobbling camps, the creativity of the community has been crazy. As soon as I saw the Zonai devices, however, one thing came to mind. How can I use this mechanic to make levers? And I don't mean like catapults or whatever, I mean a classic type 1 lever with a fulcrum and everything. And after many designs and iterations, this is what I came up with. It uses two wheels as the fulcrum and three carts as the lever arm. I actually want to touch on the carts real quick, because previous designs use a wooded plank in the middle instead. In the final design, I opted to use exclusively carts in order to have a better sense of the lever arm's length. Since the wooden plank is inconsistent with the cart's length, it's hard to determine a concrete measurement of the lever arm in full. When we use carts, we can very easily say that each side of the lever arm is 1.5 carts long. But, we're here to talk about weights. You may notice that I am in the depths, and that's for good reason. When trying to do measurements on the surface, the wind would keep interfering with the lever arm, and since there's no wind in the depths, there's nothing to interfere with the measurement. Now to get into the system of measurement. As you can see, when there is a flame emitter on one side of the arm, and Link is on the other side of the arm, the arm stays in balance. This measurement is going to be the basis of our unit of weight, which will be flame emitters, also abbreviated as FE. There are Zonai devices that weigh less than 1 FE, namely the battery, but I think Link's weight is a good constant to ground ourselves with. Now that we've established a baseline for our measurement, we can find the weight of just about anything. As previously established, one flame emitter is equal to two batteries. So, when we find that five apples is equal to one battery, we know that one apple is equal to 0.1 FE. I went ahead and recorded the weights of a bunch of commonly used Zonai devices used in flying machines and such. The methods I use to get these measurements might not be the most precise, so if something looks off to you, I implore you to go measure it yourself. That's not all though. Now that we know how to measure weight, and we know the distance of our lever arm, we can use that to calculate the efficiency of our lever. Alright, welcome to the part of the video where you actually have to fucking learn something. So, we're going to start off by drawing this lever as a free body diagram. So, we're going to get a triangle here. This is going to be our fulcrum, which is the big wheels here. And this is going to be our lever arm. Woo! So, now that we have our free body diagram up, we can define our variables. So, in order to calculate the efficiency, we need to find our distance of effort, our distance of resistance, our force of effort and our force of resistance. And so our distance of effort, okay, there's an arrow. Our distance of effort is, oh, what the hell is that? All right, we're just gonna do the old fashioned way. Our distance of effort is gonna be here. And our distance of resistance is gonna be right here. Now, what he knows about these is the exact fucking same. And actually, as we uh, defined earlier, they are both 1.5 carts. Now, our force of effort and our force of resistance are going to be what's actually pulling down on our lever arms. So, this is going to be our force of effort, because it's corresponding with our distance of effort. And this is going to be our force of resistance. And now, we know that both of these are one flame emitter each. So, we can identify those one flame emitter. Now, our efficiency calculation is efficiency is equal to AMA, or actually, in parentheses, AMA over IMA times 100%. You need that percent there because you need your units. So, how do we find AMA and IMA? Well, our AMA is equal to our force of resistance over our force of force of resistance over our force of effort. And our IMA is equal to our distance of effort over our distance of resistance. Now, we know these already, so we can just fill that in 
uh, force of resistance over force of effort, one over one, that's just one, and distance of effort over distance of resistance, 1.5 over 1.5 is just one. We don't need units there because the units cancel each other out. Uh, it's like if you had 1x over 1x, the x would cancel out. It's the same thing, same sort of process there. So, now that we know our AMA and our IMA is 1, we can rewrite this as 1 over 1 times 100%. And 1 over 1, that's just 1, times 100%, that equals 100% which is the expected outcome for this lever. Because, obviously, Nintendo's not going to be building in super complex, energy transfer fucking hyper-realistic simulations for their children's video game. But, now that we know our efficiency is 100%, we can actually use this to find a myriad of different distance of efforts and distance of resistances and forces of effort and forces of resistances. Now that we know that pretty much all of our systems within Tears of the Kingdom is going to be 100% efficient, we can use that information to calculate a bunch of hypothetical scenarios. Let's say we're feeling a bit lazy and 1FE sounds like a bit too much force to us. Let's say we just want to exert half an FE of force. Alright, we can do that, but we're going to have to change our distance of effort in order to account for that shift in force so that we can still exert half an FE of force, but be able to lift an entire FE of force. Alright, so how do we figure that out? Well, first thing we got to do is we got to define our variables. We know our efficiency is equal to 100%, not 10%. We know that our AMA Actually, we don't know our AMA, and we also don't know our IMA, but we're able to calculate our AMA because we have both our FE and our FR. So we know that AMA is equal to FR over FE, so that is 1FE over 0. Point, or, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, sorry, yeah. 1FE over 0.5FE. which we know is equal to two unitless numbers because AMA doesn't have a unit as described before because these FEs cancel each other out. Okay, now we have our AMA and our efficiency. We can use those now to calculate our IMA. If we look back to our efficiency calculation, it's AMA over IMA equals 100%. So, because we know our efficiency and we know our AMA, we can isolate IMA from there and find it tool. So, we know our efficiency is 100%, so 100% equals 2 over our IMA times 100%. Alright, how do we isolate IMA? It's just algebra. Divide both sides by 100%. This function times 1 is just going to be itself, so we can get rid of that 1. We can also get rid of these parentheses now that we don't have another number in the way. Now, if we multiply both sides by IMA, which is basically just a variable, we can replace that with X if we really wanted to. We know that 1 IMA is equal to 2. We can divide both sides by 1 to get rid of that, even though we can probably tell what's going on there. 2 divided by 1 is just 2, so we know our IMA is equal to 2. All right, well, our IMA equation, distance of effort over distance of resistance, well, now we know our IMA, we can say two is equal to distance of effort over our 1.5C. We can just multiply 1.5C by both sides. So two times 1.5, that would be three C cancels out. So, our distance of effort would be three carts. That is how many carts long our distance of effort would need to be in order to lift an FE of force while only exerting oops, while only exerting half an FE of force. Now, is this even remotely close to what we see in Tears of the Kingdom? 
Not at all. The carts have too much weight attached to them on the end. It just pulls down the flame emitter already. You don't even need this battery here because the carts are so heavy. But that's why it's important to test things out in real life instead of just exclusively calculating them. That's what engineering is all about. But that was pretty cool in my opinion. Theoretically it should have worked. And in the theoretical world, that's good enough for me. Hope you learned something. And uh, I'll see you.